Hey everybody, Matthew with Tactical Comms, and I've been promising you a video about how to create your own communications plan. And I want to talk to you a little bit today about the beginning steps of how to do that. So over the course of the next few weeks, I want you to think about who do you want to talk to, where they are in correlation to where you are. In other words, how far apart are you of the two of you? And then finally, what technology is available to you? There's some great resources for you that you can check out on the web. Uh, there is uh, www.arrl.org, or we commonly call it ARRL. Great resources for ham radio uh, across the country, across the world for that matter. Lots of information there. In South Carolina, there is ARES-SC, and that's A-R-E-S-SC.org. Uh, and ARES stands for Amateur Radio Emergency Services. Great information there, including South Carolina's tactical communications plan for ARES and OXCOM. Uh, OXCOM is another com uh, conversation for another day. And then also there is www.qrz.com. And I'll put the links to these down in the description of the YouTube video for you to follow. But qrz.com has some practice tests that you can go check out to help you get to where you need to be in your communications endeavor. So first, who do you want to talk to? Do you want to just talk family and friends? Do you want to just talk just here on your property? Or, you know, who do you who who do you want to talk to? You need to identify that first. Is it your close circle of friends, your your trusted agents? Who, who is that? Uh, and then where are they in relation to you? How far away? Are you going to need external antennas? Are you going to need higher power? Is ham radio even legal for the type of communications? If you want to pass encrypted communications, you can't do it on ham radio. You can't use codes or ciphers or anything to disguise the, the, the content of your message for ham radio. Uh, FRS, GMRS, some of those may be some options for you, but ham radio is not. However, ham radio, and I keep pushing everybody to ham radio because it will help you build your skill set that will branch you out into other areas where you can do some things that you want to do. Who do you want to talk to? Where, the, where are they in relation to you? And then what technologies are available? So a lot of you have bought your handheld radios off the internet and you're using those to kind of get your message out, to kind of get your feet wet and, and start. And, and so you're either using Simplex, which is radio to radio, line of sight, or you're using a local repeater, uh, which is most likely a relay station on a mountaintop, a top of a building or water tank, tower, or something like that. And then, of course, uh, there are also technologies that are available for you, such as uh, walkie-talkie apps on the phone, Zello. Now, Testing. a lot of people say five, don't five, use internet-based applications. There's nothing wrong with using internet-based applications, uh, based applications as a part of your plan. However, it can't be your only plan. You've always got to have alternates. And while even I use Zello app for communications, I also use 2 meter 440. I use industrial business pool licenses, uh, amateur radio licenses. Uh, in my job, my full-time career, I do public safety. Uh, and then, of course, my favorite application is HF. So there's a ton of applications out there for you, but you're going to need the equipment. Uh, if you want to do HF to talk around the country, around the world, you're going to have to have an HF radio station with an antenna tuner, an HF antenna. Now, I build my antennas. Uh, more videos on that coming. Uh, you, I do a lot of digital modes, which require a computer, such as a Raspberry Pi, desktop or laptop computer. Uh, those are applications that you can use. Your technologies available to you can vary. They're, they're, it's like tools in your toolbox. You've got to figure out what mission, what job you want to accomplish, and what tool is going to fit it. Simplex, that's my favorite go-to because Simplex is almost always going to work on a local confined area. Um, you've got half duplex for repeaters. You've got HF. Uh, I love HF. HF is one of my favorites. Uh, it's where I spend most of my time. And even with all three of those types of uh, scenarios, you've got uh, different modes and methods and communications, so your plan. So now you've thought about who you want to talk to, where they are, and the technologies that are available for you to do. So for purposes of our conversation today, we're going to assume that it's just you and your family on site, on your property, on whatever. FRS may be the best option for you. Just remember, it's the line of sight. Maybe you've decided, hey, I want to talk to my family across the county. So you're going to need some other infrastructure. It may be as simple as putting up some external antennas, uh, as you can see here in the video. It could be as simple as uh, taking advantage of a local GMRS repeater, assuming you guys are licensed for that. And then if you want to talk around the country, you're going to have to go to HF. 
For more information on how to develop your plan, stay with me. Uh, I'm going to try my best to learn how to make a video that will show you how to build the form uh, to identify where you want to go. With Tactical Comms, I'm Matthew. See you next time.